Well, we know the Don's captain, Alex Woodyard. Woody, that's the end of our 10-game unbeaten run, but it was a really keenly contested derby match here today, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was going to be realistic. There was always going to come a time uh, when that, um, that unbeaten run was going to end. I think the, the overriding disappointment would probably be the first half performance you know, in a, in a game which is a big game for us, uh, a local derby, the way our fans travelled, the noise they was making before the game. So yeah, the disappointment probably was, was the, the performance we put in as a, as a whole. On the first 45 minutes was, uh, was probably not good enough and not up to the standards we, we've set ourselves. Well, that first quarter of the game, they really came at us, didn't they? We had to weather the storm. Yeah, they really come at us. Um, credit to them, but we, we've, we've stood up to that in recent weeks as a team. And today we probably fell short all over the pitch. Um, Especially in the first in the first half, um, we got ourselves back in it and sort of conceded another probably soft goal second half. Um, but disappointed, especially against against these today, like to, to, for that unbeaten um, run to, to sort of to sort of finish because we know it's a it's a big game for the football club. Does that show our improvement though towards the end of that first half that we had the character to come back into the game? Definitely, um, I think. Of how poor we were, there was never no doubt that we was going to get back in the game. So we sort of got that, um, got that, it, it, that inner cinema, that sort of never die attitude. Um, you know, we're creating goals, so that that was never the, uh, never the sort of, it was never an issue thinking we could back it, get back in the game. It was just disappointing that we was we sort of served that up you know, in, in the magnitude of the game. First, first half hour, we couldn't get near them. Um, they ran all over us, so yeah, poor. Um, but we got to go again. These get, these unbeaten runs are going to come come to an end. We've got to make sure now we got we just get back get back to to the, our best our best versions of ourselves and go again. Put another put another run together. And we definitely we know we've got the, the quality and the belief in the squad to do that again. It has been said that the was was ill this afternoon. How much did we miss him? Yeah, he's you know he, he's very ill at Abe, so. Hoping he can get get um, get back fighting fit as soon as possible. He's 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 been so good for I, I, uh, so good for us. I like he's uh, where he gets at players. He's uh, he, you know he's such an attacking threat and for sure we, we, we you could tell we, 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 we um, really missed him today. So hopefully we can get him back as soon as possible because uh, we ne we need some someone like Ayub with his quality. Of course, there was some game time opportunity for for Coombsy today, but he had to come off at half time though. Yeah, it's uh, good that Coombsy got some minutes in him. He's been out for a while, um, so he'll be you know he'll be better for the minutes he played today and uh, be one step for him back getting to getting to full fitness. And for Josh, that's nine goals now. That's on on level pegging with Ethan, who's got nine as well. But it's so much more to his game than just goals, isn't it, for Josh? Yeah, Josh is you know. He, He's you know, such a winning runner. He, he works his you know, works his socks off. He runs in behind. He's a threat. He never you know never gives defenders a minute, a minute or, you know a minute's rest. So it's really good that he scored in the last two games. And we've got we've got goals in the team. Obviously with Ethan, he's he's flying. Ayub's flying. Yeah, Josh, there's nine goals now. So um, no, there's still some positives to take from it. But I think it's just a disappointing with you know with a local derby. The way our fans travelled in the numbers, the noise they were making before the game. So it's just a bit, it's a bit gutting that we, we come out and sort of put that, that, that first, especially the first 20, 30 minutes, was, is nowhere near good enough, nowhere near the standards we've set. But um, like I said, game, you, the unbeaten runs are going to come to an end, so make sure now that get back, rest, recover, go again in the next game and just, just start another, another um, unbeaten run. And that is tremendous to pull it today because that was over 1,400 Dons fans here this afternoon. Superb stuff. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Although we was away, probably it felt like we was at home because um, the noise we made a lot, you know, a lot, a lot noisier than, than the home fans. So um, really, you know, before the game, it was a real positive energy and um, disappointing, disappointing that we uh, just just below our below our levels today, especially in that first 45. But it happens, it's football. Um, just got to make sure we, we, we go again now and uh, make sure we get back to the levels um, against crew next game. Having said that, that was three games in a week and that just proves you know there is no break for, for footballers at Christmas, you have to crack on with it. Yeah, it's tough. It is. It's a really tough schedule. Um, 
probably now like, I'll just to get some rest into our, us now and go again but it's, it's tough but um, it is football so everyone's got to do it it's, I think they've done the same obviously haven't they so uh, that's no excuse for, for the levels today but um, yeah it's got to go again now Woody thanks very much indeed for your time